Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloud here, and today in so this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Tiny Trap, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Tiny Trap is an attacker, and his traits are Freeze Immunity and Fugitive Hater, which doesn't really matter, honestly, and Freeze Immunity isn't that great. And then Poison Immunity, which is kind of bad, and his rank 3 is even kind of bad, it's just very situational. So yeah, kind of weird traits, I don't really like his traits at all, but his rogues are Sword and Sword, which are pretty decent for an attacker. So let's go on down to his pros and his cons. So his access to toxins, double damage, random haters, and pierce hater, which is all very, very good. And then pierce hater is very good in the current meta, which is kind of true. He has very solid elements in the current meta. He has access to stamina drain and stamina leak and great stats. So yeah, he does have some pretty good pros. And then his cons are his only torture are toxins, meaning he is forced to rely on raw damage, which is kind of true, but toxins is very, very good. And of course, he does have the damage boost. And then he has a bad relic slots, having no way to regain stamina, which is very true. He could probably use like a master in essence or something, literally anything else. And then he also has an awful tree except status caster, which is very true. So yeah, some interesting cons there, definitely big problems though. Now let's go on down to his moveset. So he has a single target stamina leak with 70 water damage, which is a lot of damage. He also has a 75 nature damage with toxins. He has an AoE 40 water damage with stamina drain. And then he also has a self pierce hater with double damage. And he has a self pierce hater with random hater. But you'll definitely want to use the double damage one. The random hater is not nearly as good. So yeah, that is actually a pretty good moveset. He has some pretty high damage moves. It really depends on what monsters you have already though. If you don't have any good attackers at all, definitely go and get this monster because he can definitely be a decent attacker for you. But if you already have some good attackers in the current era, then he's not really worth getting at all. So yeah, it really depends on what monsters you have already and what monsters you are planning on getting in the future of this era. Because Tiny Trap is not super amazing, but he is at least a decent attacker. And personally, I do think he's worth getting just because he is inside of a bringing mat, so he is very easy to get. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Tiny Trap and if you guys are going to be getting him or if you think he's worth getting. And yeah, see you in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.